What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about my favorite topic and that is cars. Well don't worry, it will still be a Revit tutorial and I'm actually going to be showing you how to create amazing looking uh, families or car families for Revit. And before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And I'm going to be starting off with an existing family and this won't be a Revit uh, model. It's uh, most or pretty much all uh, cars that come from, uh, that you use in Revit will be some sort of a, a different model. Uh, it may be from SketchUp, from Rhinoceros, from 3ds Max, and then that's uh, loaded in and converted into a uh, Revit family. But I'm going to be modifying it to become a lot more Revit friendly and for all of my lovely patrons at Patreon, uh, they will be getting uh, all of my car families that they have on my computer so they can practice uh, modifying them and making them amazing as they will be uh, as I show you in this tutorial. But anyway, let's get into it and let me explain what I'm going to be doing uh, with these families. So here I am in Revit and this is the family that I'm going to be using. This is just a BMW M3 family and yeah, a shocker. A 20 year old loves BMW. Okay, but anyway, so as soon as the family opens up, you'll see the problem. Well, this is the family, and uh, as you can see, the geometry is uh, nothing like Revit geometry, and you have a lot of these polygons. Now, uh, having so many polygons makes the geometry or makes the rendering uh, a, a lot better. It makes it uh, look a lot more realistic, a lot more detail. Uh, but the problem is, uh, when you're looking at this family, perhaps in a uh, reference level view, and even if we turn on hidden line, it looks like this. It's ugly, there's too many lines. And when you place this on a simple, elegant floor plan, it uh, it always sticks out. It's always uh, too, too, kind of too dark, too, uh, it, and it steals from the, the whole floor plan. And it's, it's always ugly and people don't like using them. And I'm just going to show you how to transform this family so it looks really nice. It looks one, like one of those AutoCAD 2D families where when you're in floor plan, it's got just a few lines just to demonstrate that there is a car parked there. So how do you do that? Well, uh, for the 3D view, you basically do nothing. You leave it as is. But when you go to the floor plan, uh, what you need to do is you need to go here to the annotate tab. And there uh, you've got this uh, masked masking region option or masking region tool and this is basically an annotation tool that's going to help you mask out most of these lines and only kind of point out the most important lines so just start that command and this is what happens and now what you're going to be doing is you're going to start uh, with an arc tool and I just prefer using arc tool and I usually start from the middle like this and I just go a little bit outside so kind of like this and I start and make kind of an arc there, an arc here, then maybe this can be a straight line like this, this as well. Now you don't have to be overly precise, I mean this is usually printed in small scale so you don't have to worry about making it look perfect but it's nice to have, have it as close to perfect as possible. So let's go something like this maybe like that, switch to arc again, go around this uh, mirror, then switch to line again, go to here, maybe go to, I don't know, to here for the wheel flare, and then go like this, maybe like that, yeah, it's turning out really nice. Maybe do an arc here, an arc here, Let's now go in and preserve this, I don't know what, what do you call this part, it's probably a, a, uh, that a low sill, or no, they call it a curtain, I think, something like a skirt, I don't know, I'm not really good with English. Uh, anyway, let's just go to the middle, like that, and you just finish it off, like this. So you basically got half of the car, so you hover over one of these lines, hit the tab key, you select all of them, you type in MM for mirror with pick axis, you pick this reference plane in the middle and you mirror it to the other side. 
and as you can see it's mirrored and uh, let's just see does this work yeah everything uh, looks nice everything looks perfect and you just hit finish and there seems to be a problem yeah perhaps with this let's just trim and extend finish okay now it's finished and now when you click outside of this this is what you get so for that whole uh, geometry you're left with just uh, the outside line now this outside line is not enough it doesn't really represent a car well enough so how do you finish off this uh, car view so what you need to do is you need to go here and switch to wireframe view and then you get this ugly thing again and then you go to annotate and you use symbolic lines now and again you go just one side and then you mirror that to the other side so just start with an arc let's maybe follow this uh, hood line like that this hood line as well maybe this should be a straight line from here to here from here to I don't know there yeah something like that and maybe we can mirror these two now select these two I hold the control select this one mirror it to the other side around the reference uh, plane like that okay so now go back into annotate symbolic line let's do the windshield now so again let's uh, use the arc tool start from the center of the windshield uh, luckily in this family windshield is made with a different material so it's a different color so you can see it better so let's just do an arc uh, like that uh, switch to line go with line to here switch to arc again arc to here and arc to the middle so there's the middle that kind of like that okay now we select or we hover over one of them again hit the tab once select the whole thing mm for mirror pick access uh yeah there we go so we got the windshield done uh now let's do the back uh, glass so again go annotate symbolic line arc start with the middle go to here do that arc then go to here do an arc switch to line and you go all the way up here yeah kind of like that uh, you switch to arc again and you finish it off like this and then again you hover hit the tab select mirror and mirror to the other side and one more thing we need to do just to make it just to make it seem basic and, and simple but to get the whole idea and that those are the windows so just go to create or sorry <laughs> annotate symbolic line and let's go again with the arc so maybe this can be one arc like that a second arc maybe till here a third arc going straight backward and one more line like this perhaps and one line going straight forward here and just again make the, make it an arc and once you've got that finished uh, again you can select the whole thing mm for mirror with pick access mirror to the other side and now to see what you have actually done uh, you need to go here to hidden line and this is what you get this is what your family will look like in a uh, in a reference uh, level or in a floor plan but then when you switch into 3d view you're going to get this awesome view and when you uh, turn that to realistic it's going to look even better especially when rendered and uh, once you've done this uh, of course if you're not only going to be using it uh, for uh, floor plans or and you want to use it maybe in uh, also in your uh, elevations then you have to go and for each elevation you will need to go to annotate and then uh, go with uh, first with a mask region and then with symbolic lines just to do the whole family so it's i know it's kind of it takes a lot of time to do all sides uh, but once you're finished you really need one or two car families maybe three to make all of your projects from now on and forever uh, look really good with these awesome car families and just to finish it off let's just export this into a project so file new project just to see how it works and let's choose an architectural template open it up and let's go back to the car family uh, load into project and you're probably freaking out why is it so black and don't worry there when we hit 
and or when we click on the screen here it is so this is just the floor uh, in floor plan view it's going to look like this and then if you go into 3d this is what you're going to get okay so that's how you create these amazing car families that actually look how they should look and not like these ugly uh, heaps of lines Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope I have shown you something useful. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Like and share this video to your friends that have car trouble in Revit. And that's it for today. Till next time, have a nice day.